हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम परविंदर रंधावा फ्रॉम आई बी एस एल इंडिया अगेन आई एम विद यू विद न्यू लेसन डेट्स रिलेटेड टू आयल और आयल्स आई और आई कैन सी डेट इट्स अ न्यू लेक्चर इट्स बेस्ड ऑन द लिसनिंग टिप इन दिस आई हैव जस्ट यू कैन सी डेट आई आई हैव कम विद अ न्यू आइडिया वट आई विल डू आई विल डू लिसनिंग टेस्ट अलॉन्ग विद यू एंड आई विल राइक द मेन पॉइंट्स that on which means how the speak uh, we can see the speakers right they uh, just give answer or we can say that we can get the answer from them basically listening is based on uh, we can say speculation also it's a speculation we also we can say in common lang- language that is assumption right so in the n- uh, coming videos you will find these kind of techniques also related to listening and reading that how can we get answers with uh, we can say a kind of speculation also and i have tried in my previous videos also but i will go with more and you are watching my youtube channel that's parvinder randhava guru right so in this i will start the listening test and this test is uh, uh, test number 1 uh, from a book that is ielts test plus 2 right so this is a test here maybe you find it simple but my main motive is something else here that i want to get the means i want to know about the pitch the intonation right as well as means uh, how these speakers are trying to give us answer that i want to get here so i will work there is one example in front of you right So just wait please I'll play the listening and in the meantime if you want to underline you have the time you can underline the width here made of right and this video uh, it is going to help uh, we can say that average students below average as well as you can, uh, we can say that intelligent students also has has right then this is in my mind name also then abc map so here the main tip is university because this is repeated and this is the key here that i have to search so these are questions from 1 to 10 please right so let's go with it let's listen the audio on this occasion only the conversation relating to this will be played first hello oh hello i'm ringing about the advertisement in yesterday's newspaper the one for the bookcases can you tell me if they're still available we've sold one but we still have two available the number of bookcases available is 2 so 2 has been written in the space Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Hello? Oh, hello. I'm ringing about the advertisement in yesterday's newspaper, the one for the bookcases. Can you tell me if they're still available? We've sold one, but we still have two available. Right. Um can you tell me a bit about them? Sure. Um what do you want to know? Well, I'm looking for something to fit in my study. So, well, I'm not too worried about the height, but the width's quite important. Can you tell me how wide each of them is? They're both exactly the same size. Let me see. I've got the details written down somewhere. Yes. So they're both 75 cm wide and 180 cm high. Okay. Fine. That should fit in okay. And I don't want anything that looks too severe. Not made of metal, for example. I was really looking for something made of wood. That's all right. They are both of them. So are they both the same price as well? 
No, the first bookcase is quite a bit cheaper. It's just fifteen pounds. We paid sixty pounds for it just five years ago, so it's very good value. It's in perfectly good condition. Well, they're both in very good condition, in fact. But the first one isn't the same quality as the other one. It's a good sturdy bookcase. It used to be in my son's room, but it could do with a fresh coat of paint. Oh, it's painted. Yes, it's cream at present. But as I say, you could easily change that if you wanted to fit in with your colour scheme. Yes, I'd probably paint it white if I got it. Let's see. What else? How many shelves has it got? Six. Two of them are fixed, and the other four are adjustable, so you can shift them up and down according to the sizes of your books. Right. Fine. Well, that certainly sounds like a possibility. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions six to ten on page nine. You can check that the, the both persons right. A second one, you can see that the male speaker, he is uh, just like trying to say that he is agree with the female speaker, right? Well, good. These kind of words the male speaker is using, and you can also check the. We can say that a gap. Answer questions six to ten. But the second one's a lovely bookcase too. That's not painted. It's just a natural wood colour, dark brown. It was my grandmother's, and I think she bought it sometime in the 1930s. So I'd say it must be getting on for 80 years old. It's very good quality. They don't make them like that nowadays. And you said it's the same dimensions as the first one. Yes, and it's got the six shelves. But it also has a cupboard at the bottom that's really useful for keeping odds and ends in. Right. Oh, and I nearly forgot to say, the other thing about it is it's got glass doors, so the books are all kept out of the dust. So it's really good value for the money. I'm really sorry to be selling it, but we just don't have the room for it. Hmm. So what are you asking for that one? Ninety-five pounds. It's quite a bit more. But it's a lovely piece of furniture, a real heirloom. Yes. All the same, it's a lot more than I wanted to pay. I didn't really want to go above thirty or forty. Anyway, the first one sounds fine for what I need. Just as you like. So, is it all right if I come round and have a look this evening? Then, if it's okay, I can take it away with me. Of course. So you'll be coming by car, will you? I've got a friend with a van, so I'll get him to bring me round. If you can just give me the details of where you live. Sure. I'm Mrs. Blake. B L A K E. That's right. And the address is Forty One Oak Rise. That's in Stanton. Okay. So I'll be coming from the town centre. Can you give me an idea of where you are? Yes. You know the road that goes out towards the university. Yes. Well, you take that road, and you go on till you get to a roundabout. Go straight on, then Oak Rise is the first road to the right. Out towards the university, past the roundabout, first left. First right, and we're at the end of the road. Got it. So I'll be round at about seven, if that's all right. Oh, and my name's Connor. Connor Field. Fine. I'll see you then, Connor. Goodbye. Goodbye. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. So that's the end of section one. I have written the tips here that how I have write or I am trying to get. right i have got the answers that i have written here so please remember one thing these are the answers which i have written in the gaps right these are the answers all and uh, this one what i have written this way these are the tips which i have got from here you can check the language accordingly so what kind of language right both the speakers they are using 
so that's the thing here that's why i'm writing side by side the answers all also and in the last i will play the complete listening then you will judge accordingly now i will try to mark uh, in front of you that when they will give me time okay so let's play it again so that we can do the section 2 here on New Zealand radio about an art sale which is being held to raise money for charity. First you have some time to look at questions 11 to 13 on page 10. Answer questions 11 to 13. One of the most anticipated art events in Christchurch is the charity art sale organised this year by Neil Curtis. Neil, tell us all about it. Well, Diane, this looks like being the biggest art sale yet, and the best thing about it is that the money raised will all go to charity. So, what you probably want to know first is where it is. Well, the pictures will be on view all this week, most of them at the Star Gallery in the shopping mall. But we have so many pictures this year that we're also showing some in the cafe next door. So do drop in and see them any day between 9 and 5. Now, if you're interested in buying rather than just looking, and we hope a lot of you will be, the actual sale will take place on Thursday evening with sales starting at 7:30. Refreshments will be available before the sale starting at 6:30. We've got about 50 works by local artists showing a huge range of styles and media, and in a minute I'll tell you about some of them. You're probably also interested in what's going to happen to your money once you've handed it over. Well, all proceeds will go to support children who are disabled, both here in New Zealand and also in other countries. So you can find an original painting support local talent and help these children all at the same time. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 14 to 20 on page 11. Answer questions 14 to 20. Now, let me tell you a bit about some of the artists who have kindly agreed to donate their pictures to the charity art sale. One of them is Don Studley, who has a special interest in the art sale because his five-year-old daughter was born with a serious back problem. After an operation earlier this year, she's now doing fine. But Don says he wants to offer something to help other less fortunate children. Don is totally self-taught and says he's passionate about painting. His paintings depict some of our New Zealand birds in their natural habitats. One relative newcomer to New Zealand is James Chang, who came here from Taiwan nine years ago at the age of 56. Mr. Chang had 13 exhibitions in Taiwan before he came to live here in Christchurch. So he's a well-established artist, and art has been a lifelong passion for him. His paintings are certainly worth looking at. If you like abstract pictures with strong colour schemes, you'll love them. Natalie Stevens was born in New Zealand, but has exhibited in China, Australia, and Spain. As well as being an artist, she's a website designer. She believes art should be universal. And her paintings use soft colours and a mixture of media. Most of her pictures are portraits, so watch out. 
some of them may even be friends of yours. And then we have Christine Shin from Korea. Christine only started to learn English two years ago when she arrived in New Zealand, but she's been painting professionally for over 10 years, and she sure knows how to communicate strong messages through the universal language of art. She usually works from photographs and paints delicate watercolours, which combine traditional Asian influences with New Zealand landscapes, giving a very special view of our local scenery. Well, that's all I have time to tell you now, but as well as these four, there are many other artists whose work will be on sale, so do come along on Thursday. We accept cheques, credit cards or cash. And remember, even if you don't buy a picture, you can always make a donation. That is the end of Section 2. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 3 on page 12. Section 3. You will hear two students discussing a project they have to do as part of a literature course on great books. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25 on page 12. Listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. Hi, Joey. How are you doing? I heard you were sick. Oh, hi, Olivia. Yeah, I had a virus last week, and I missed a whole pile of lectures, like the first one on the great books and literature, where Dr. Castle gave us all the information about the semester project. I can give you copies of the handouts. I've got them right here. But that's okay. I already collected the handouts, but I'm not very clear about all the details. I know we each have to choose an individual author. I think I'm going to do Carlos Castaneda. I'm really interested in South American literature. Have you checked he's on the list that Dr. Castle gave us? We can't just choose anyone. Yeah, I checked. It's okay. Who did you choose? Well, I was thinking of choosing Ernest Hemingway, but then I thought, no, I'll do a British author, not an American one. So I chose Emily Bronte. Okay. And first of all, it says we have to read a biography of our author. I guess it's okay if we just look up information about him on the Internet? No, it's got to be a full-length book. I think the minimum length's 250 pages. There's a list of biographies. Didn't you get that? Oh, right. I didn't realize we had to stick with that. So what do we have to do when we read the biography? Well, then we have to choose one work by the writer. Again, it's got to be something quite long. We can't just read a short story. But I guess a collection of short stories would be okay? Yes, or even a collection of poems, they said. But I think most people are doing novels. I'm going to do Wuthering Heights. I've read it before, but I really want to read it again now I've found out more about the writer. And then the video. We have to make a short video about our author and about the book. How long has it got to be? A minute. What? Like 60 seconds? And we got to give all the important information about their life and the book we choose? Well, you can't do everything. I wrote it down somewhere. Yes, Dr. Castle said we had to find or write a short passage that helps to explain the author's passion for writing, why they're a writer. So we can back this up with reference to important events in the writer's life, if they're relevant, but it's up to us, really. The video's meant to portray the essence of the writer's life and the piece of writing we choose. So when we read the biography, we have to think about what kind of person our writer is. Yes, and the historical context and so on. 
So for my writer, Emily Bronte, the biography gave a really strong impression of the place where she lived and the countryside around. Right. I'm beginning to get the idea. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30, 13. questions 26 to 30. Uh, can I check the other requirements with you? Sure. The handout said after we'd read the biography, we had to read the work we'd chosen by our author and choose a passage that's typical in some way, that typifies the author's interests and style. Yes, but at the same time, it has to relate to the biographical extract you choose. There's got to be some sort of theme linking them. Okay, I'm with you. And then you have to think about the video. So are we meant to dramatize the scene we choose? I guess we could, but there's not a lot of time for that. I think it's more how we can use things like sound effects to create the atmosphere, the feeling we want. And presumably visuals as well? Yeah, of course. I mean, I suppose that's the whole point of making a video. But whatever we use has to be historically in keeping with the author. We can use things like digital image processing to do it all. So we can use any computer software we want? Sure. And it's important that we use a range, not just one software program. That's actually one of the things we're assessed on. Okay. Oh, and something else that's apparently really important is to keep track of the materials we use and to acknowledge them. Including stuff we download off the internet, presumably? Yeah, so our video has to list all the material used with details of the source in a bibliography at the end. Okay, and you were talking about assessment of the project. Did they give us the criteria? I couldn't find anything on the handout. Sure, he gave us them in the lecture. Let's see, you get 25% just for getting all the components done. That's both sets of reading and the video. Then the second part is actually how successful we are at getting the essence of the work. They call that content, and that counts for 50%. Then the last 25% is on the video itself, the artistic and technical side. Great. Well, that sounds a lot of work, but a whole lot better than just handing in a paper. But thanks a lot, Olivia. You're welcome. That is the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 4 on page 14. Section 4. You will hear a speaker giving a talk about some recent research about unusual life forms. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40 on pages 14 and 15. Listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Hello, everybody, and welcome.
welcome to the sixth of our ecology evening classes. Nice to see you all again. As you know from the program, today I want to talk to you about some research that is pushing back the frontiers of the whole field of ecology. And this research is being carried out in the remoter regions of our planet, places where the environment is harsh and, until recently, it was thought that the conditions couldn't sustain life of any kind. But life forms are being found, and these have been grouped into what is now known as extremophiles. That is, organisms that can survive in the most extreme environments. And these discoveries may be setting a huge challenge for the scientists of the future, as you'll see in a minute. Now, the particular research I want to tell you about was carried out in Antarctica, one of the coldest and driest places on Earth. But a multinational team of researchers from the US, Canada and New Zealand recently discovered colonies of microbes in the soil there where no one thought it was possible. Interestingly enough, some of the colonies were identified as a type of fungus called Buviria bassiana, a fungus that lives on insects. But where are the insects in these utterly empty regions of Antarctica? The researchers concluded that this was clear evidence that these colonies were certainly not new arrivals. They might have been there for centuries or even millennia, possibly even since the last ice age. Can you imagine their excitement? Now, some types of microbes had previously been found living just a few millimeters under the surface of rocks, porous Antarctic rocks. But this was the first time that living colonies had been found surviving um, relatively deeply in the soil itself, several centimeters down, in fact. So, the big question is, how can these colonies survive there? Well, we know that the organisms living very near the rock's surface can still be warmed by the sun, so they can survive in their own microclimate. And this keeps them from freezing during the day. But this isn't the case for the colonies that are hidden under the soil. In their research paper, this team suggested that the very high amounts of salt in the soil might be the clue because this is what is preventing essential water from freezing. The team found that the salt concentration increased the deeper down they went in the soil. But while they had expected the number of organisms to be fewer down there, they actually found the opposite. In soil that had as much as 3,000 parts of salt per million, relatively high numbers of microbes were present, which seems incredible. But the point is that at those levels of salt, the temperature could drop to minus 56 degrees before frost would cause any damage to the organisms. This relationship between microbes and salt at temperatures way below the normal freezing point of water is a really significant breakthrough. As you all know, life is dependent on the availability of water in liquid form and the role of salt at very low temperatures could be the key to survival in these kinds of conditions. Now, the process at work here is called supercooling, and that's usually written as one word, but it isn't really understood as yet, so there's a lot more for researchers to work on. However, the fact that this process occurs naturally in Antarctica may suggest that it might occur in other places with similar conditions including on our neighboring planet, Mars. So, you can start to see the wider implications of this kind of research. In short, it appears to support the growing belief that extraterrestrial life might be able to survive the dry, cold conditions on other planets after all. Not only does this research produce evidence that life is possible there, it's also informing scientists of the locations where it might be found. So all of this might have great significance for future unmanned space missions. One specialist on Mars confirms the importance of the... 
That is the end of section four. You now have half a minute to check your answers. This test I have done with you. I agree with you. You need one reading test also complete. I have underlined in front of you. Made cons concentration also. Right, and you are watching my YouTube channel. That's Pravinda Randhawa Guru. Now, my dear friends, let's talk. What I have got here, I have written everything, whatever it was important. Right? Because this test is for everybody, but the main thing which I always remember, this thing. That's the note here, that's what I have to do here. Right? This is very much important to read. So, here the main point is that you, I have written here, forget to say. Then, female speaker right had these words has glass doors right so this is the language you used then in tenth one so you can check please once again in tenth one the thing is that uh, she uh, according to female speaker uh, first you have to cross the, pass the round boat then you have to go straight and then a right turn it's on the last this address right same I have written here first right so same tips I have written whatever I listened in front of you then uh, from 11 here they said that most of the pictures are displayed in star gallery some are in neighbor right the cafe sale it will start at this but refreshments before that is 6 30 I think that's why I have written then the money raised beware your funds this type of language handed so disabled children because naturally for this is for the humans right so that's why disabled what they use and next is your after 11 to 13 14 to 20 in 14 to 20 again three words or a number here again three words and or a number check the language this just to maintain our concentration that just yes, I am with the listening then he said pictures of the right uh, passionate also what used birds also used. and habitats also right three or four words are related to the but I have to read birds only of the because the is there then second this one James uh, yes, this is a point here which you have to note. Number 13 exhibitions. The speaker right, spoke 13 exhibitions. It means 13, it was used instead of the number. So, exhibitions got my point. So, this is the main thing here which we have to, or we can write use the answer art exhibitions also because he spoke. Then, abstract paintings, pictures, no pictures. He that's why I have written. So he remember one thing had a number of dash. So number means according to my it is 13. Right? That's why. Means it's a somewhat matching here. Then in next one, website designer, very cool. Most of this one is used after this. Most of mainly does portraits. Then uh, two years Korea came from Korea. Paintings are based on clear answer that is photographs based on uh, what kind of language I don't remember what speaker used after this 21 to 25 must can if they want to can do this so this one is list provided give gave right that's why I underlined here so second is is the answer uh, from the internet no she rejected it right female speaker i considered it more on female also why because the male was trying to get information from the female that's the reason here right male was trying to get the information from the female 
so that's why i wrote here also at the time right stress on collection of poems novels uh, somewhere is written uh, short stories right so that's why answer goes to b c you got one minute a minute only there is video so i don't think so there is any match so that's uh, c and in 25th key facts uh, then it is used it's up to us that's why b key facts they used events what for this one right so this we completed up to 25th after 25th 26 to 30 this page three words no number here so these use extract word then the typifies this type of word right interesting style and then comes your sound effects how word it was used connector eyes pose right then right one word also it was used that is presumably right this word was used here then this is clear answer range of we have to use female i think i remember on this right student must include information about the source it's also clear answer but i got it from the source that how my answer is right then this is according to the 50 percent right content after this section four life forms extreme conditions so isolated areas another thing i write environment is equal to conditions i got one answer in my reading also due to this one those conditions are related to environment always remember one thing please right so if you check the dictionary meaning you will get it so that's why b is the answer in this naturally centuries or even last ice age the speaker used male speaker was there i have written here right and i've written the main points also harsh also then the first people so this uh, yes the male speaker he spoke on this one right but language changed due to the first people first time that's why the answer changed to the a that is in the soil right here he said they can create on microclimate this is very cool answer suppose i'm in an um, in my office during summer how i create my own climate use ac this is known as my climate in winter how i create my environment use heater this way i can create my climate so they create their own climate right my crops i think what it was used here then deeper this one first he used concentration of salt the team found yes language was this one then the deeper then he used salt can provide yes this is a point here before linker was used here linkers are you can say against and even so that's why i got the answer here due to linker and minus 56 low temperature then he used before frost and i got one linker here that is against and even then he in this one please check linker plays a great role right so any linker whatever their meanings try to match and get your answer because listening is based on the speculations also i told you life is dependent on then he said all living things liquid water so liquid is my answer one word i have to give then he said yes this is very clear process of super cooling so this is one word he told also because not to be personal environment of yes he talked about the other places also but i can't write the places because my matching is with antarctica where antarctica is a name of a continent and mars is the name of planet so that's why my right answer is mars this is the reason of writing mars why not other places the locations he used might and possible is there he used possible also but i can't match it with this one but might is better match here so with this one so this test we have done so right and you can check i told you this is ielts test plus two test one listing this is seriously good book also if you want to buy you can buy this book from any bookseller or from online purchase also because really this is good book uh, reading is very fine so you can try also and for academic people also and general people also readings are there in this right and you are watching my youtube channel that's parvinder and guru my english session is over now i am going in hindi 
राइट इन हिंदी लैंग्वेज लेट मी स्टार्ट हमने ये टॉपिक क्या किया था ये मैच किया था वो आपने सब देख लिया जो इसमें मेन वर्ड है मैंने सारे लिख दिए कि कैसे कैसे वो बोल रहा है और हमें कैसे कैसे आंसर देने हैं उसके अकॉर्डिंग राइट सारे हमने वर्कआउट कर लिया यहाँ पे तो मतलब कि मैंने वर्कआउट किया था जैसे हमें यहाँ पहले तो मैंने थ्री नंबर वर्ड्स और नंबर को नोट किया आपने देखा होगा और जो जो बोलते जा रहे हैं जहाँ जहाँ मुझे लगा कि इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स हैं वो मैंने अंडरलाइन करता गया सबसे अच्छी मुझे यहाँ लैंग्वेजेस वेल गुड ये सारी लैंग्वेज अच्छी यूज़ की है उन लोगों ने आप देखो फो गेट टू सेव तो यहाँ पे वो ग्लास डोर्स के बारे में बताया और जैसे ये वर्ड यूज़ किया तो भी मैं कैच करता हूँ ये वर्ड्स लिसनिंग करते हुए लिखता नहीं हूँ अपने टेस्ट में मैं कैच करता हूँ उसका रीज़न है राइट right? रीज़न क्या है कि उससे मेरी कंसनट्रेशन बनी रहती है मेरा माइंड यहाँ रहता है कि मैं लिसनिंग कर रहा हूँ राइट right? ये सारे इसलिए कि मैं और डैट इज़ जैसे ही यूज़ किया तो मैंने वो भी लिखा तो आपको अब इसमें क्या किया उसने कहा कि आप ने आना है राइट तो आगे राउंड वोट को पास करना है उसके बाद फर्स्ट राइट है तो फीमेल बोल रही है क्योंकि फीमेल के घर जाना है तो मुझे ज़्यादा ध्यान किस पे रखना है फीमेल पे मेल ने पसल किया कहा फर्स्ट लेफ्ट तो उसने कहा नहीं फर्स्ट अगर मेल के मैं बैक पर चले जाऊँगा मेरा आंसर रॉन्ग हो जाएगा क्योंकि फीमेल के घर जा रहा हूँ मैं ठीक है तो ये रिमेम्बर रखना है आपने अब सेकेंड जो था इसके बाद सेक्शन मेरा लेट मी मैनेज द शीट्स इन द मेन टाइम यू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल डेट्स परविंदर रंधावा गुरु ये मेरा सेकेंड सेशन था तो इलेवन टू थर्टीन में तो इसमें मैंने क्या किया एक तो मोस्ट ऑफ द पिक्चर्स ने कहा स्टार गैलरी में है चैरिटी वो तो मैंने पढ़ लिया था थ्री वर्ड्स और ए नंबर फिर उसने कहा कि जो थोड़ा सा नियर बाई है जो नियर में है डेट इज कैफे में उसने पॉइंट आउट किया तो ये लैंग्वेज यूज की उसने तो उसके बाद उसने कहा क्या सेल ऑफ पिक्चर विल बिगेन 7:30 पे कहा मैं ठीक ही हूँ मुझे भी पता है राइट right, 6:30 पे रिफ्रेशमेंट्स होंगे तो उसने कहा जो मनी आप हमें दो कि आपको पता होना चाहिए कहाँ जाएगी तो उसने कहा कि जैसे एक मिनट प्लीज वो जाएगी चैरिटी चैरिटी में जाएगी और उनकी हेल्प को जाएगी जो डिसेबल्ड चिल्ड्रन है यहाँ उसने हमारे को टाइम भी दिया था अंडरलाइन करने का और मैंने ऑन द स्पॉट आपके सामने अंडरलाइन भी किया था इफ यू रिमेम्बर तो ये तो मेरे आंसर्स चलो डिसेबल चिल्ड्रन आ गए ह्यूमन के लिए लैंग्वेज यूज की तो मुझे पता था उसके बाद मैं चला गया 14 टू 20 में अकॉर्डिंग टू द उनके अकॉर्डिंग तो यहाँ पे उसने पर्सन का नाम लिया उसने कहा कि उसकी डॉटर बीमार है मतलब कि उसको बैक प्रॉब्लम है बाय बर्थ का था मुझे जितना ध्यान है सेल्फ टोट है पिक्चर जो बता पैशनेट है वो पिक्चर्स के ऊपर वो हैबिटेट्स की बर्ड्स के ऊपर पिक्चर बनाता है जहाँ वो रहती हैं तो ये लैंग्वेज यूज़ की जेम्स को उसने कहा कि वो फिफ्टी आई थिंक सिक्स ईयर्स का है ताइवान से है हाँ यहाँ इसने पजल किया हो सकता है पेपर में आप यहाँ नंबर नहीं बोला इसने कहा थर्टीन आर्ट एग्जीबिशन बोला था तो नंबर मेरा क्या है थर्टीन है यहाँ पे तो ये आपको याद रखना है प्लीज़ ये लाइन याद रखनी है आपको कि नंबर जो मेरा है थर्टीन है राइट right? तो अगर नंबर बोल नंबर लिखा हुआ है और थर्टीन बोल दिया तो आपने फटाफट मैच करके अपना आंसर देके आगे चलते रहना है क्योंकि आपकी ब्रेक लग गई फिर लिसनिंग खराब हो जाएगी माय डियर एब्सट्रैक्ट पेंटिंग्स उसने यूज़ किया वर्ड वो मैंने लिख दिया फिर उसने कहा कि आर्टिस्ट और वेबसाइट डिजाइनर है मेनली डज उसने कहा मोस्ट ऑफ पोर्ट्रेट्स कह दिया उसने क्लियर कर दिया था तो मोस्ट ऑफ के कारण मैंने वर्ड अपना आंसर सर्च कर लिया उसने कहा ये दो साल पहले आया है तो टू इयर्स मेरा आंसर बन गया न्यूजीलैंड कोरिया से आया है पेंटिंग जो है फोटोग्राफ्स भी बेस्ड हैं तो मैंने ये आंसर अपना सर्च कर लिया अब यहाँ पे क्या होता है जब सेक्शन सी में गया तो ये लिस्ट वाले क्वेश्चन आए जो मेरे पास तो लिस्ट वाले क्वेश्चन आए तो स्टूडेंट गिवन अब राइट वट इंस्ट्रक्शन वर गिवन इसको मैं हाईलाइट कर ही दूँ राइट वट डू यू थिंक करना चाहिए कि नहीं चलो आप बचा आप तो इस टाइम बोल नहीं रहे मैं ही बोल रहा हूँ लेट मी डो वर द स्टूडेंट्स की प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में क्या कहते हैं कि उनको करना चाहिए मस्ट का मतलब कैन डू कैन डू तो इसमें थोड़ी सी इन्होंने लैंग्वेज हैज की भी चलाई है जिसको कैलकुलेट नहीं किया मैंने लैंग्वेज को लेकिन कैन की जैसे मुझे पकड़ी गई तो मैंने ज़्यादा ध्यान फीमेल पर क्यों रखा कि मेल ने पता नहीं था तो वो नॉलेज ले रहा था फीमेल के फीमेल से तो इसने कहा चूज़ अ राइटर फ्रॉम द लिस्ट प्रोवाइडेड 
तो इसने लिस्ट गिव गिव की तो लिस्ट में से आपने राइटर को चूज़ किया तो उसने ए आंसर दे दिया कि उसने लिस्ट दी उसमें से करना है उसने कहा मैंने ये सेलेक्ट किया तो मैं फिर उसने कहा कि बायोलॉजिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन नेट से चाहिए उसने कहा नहीं भैया कहीं से भी कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है नेट से तो जब उसने कहा तो मैं सी में चला गया तो सी का मतलब कैंड यहाँ इसमें उन्होंने कहा पॉइंट्स कर सकते हो स्टोरीज कर सकते हो कुछ भी कर सकते हो जो छोटी मोटी उनकी आई थिंक एक चीज़ नावल्स नावल्स बोला था तो मैंने बी दिया कि कुछ भी कर सकते हो पॉइंट्स का नाम आया था मतलब इसका इसका नाम आना चाहिए यहाँ पे वन आवर ये बिल्कुल बाहर चला गया सी में इसका रीज़न ये था वन मिनट ए मिनट बोल रहा था तो वन आवर के साथ मैच ही नहीं होगा इसमें आप लोग पजल हो सकते हो एग्जाम में जब उसे बोला ही नहीं तो आप क्यों आंसर दो क्योंकि स्टूडेंट हो सकता है बी दे देगा मैं गारंटी देता हूँ ये होती है गलतियाँ आई रिमेम्बर उसके बाद कहा कि फैक्ट्स क्या हैं राइटर की लाइफ में तो वो भी हमारा डिटेल में आ गई इसके बाद हम लोग चले गए नेक्स्ट में की फैक्ट्स का मतलब मैंने इवेंट्स को इसलिए अंडरलाइन कर लिया तो ये मेरे 25 तक हो गए उसके बाद हम चले जाते हैं आगे डेट इज़ फ्रॉम 26 टू 30 ये कूल था यहाँ पे रिफ्लेक्ट के एक्सट्रैक्ट के साथ एक्सट्रैक्ट और टाइप मतलब मैच करके मैंने आंसर दिया यहाँ हाउ आ गया था इसलिए मेरा आंसर ये बन गया था विजुअल्स इसके बाद हाँ रेंज के ऊपर मेरा आंसर बना ए रेंज ऑफ राइट ये क्लियर मेरा आंसर था इसमें हाँ आई सपोज कहा था विजुअल के साथ इसके बाद मैं आगे गया तो उसने आंसर मेरा किया इसने दास सोर्स दा से मैंने आंसर पकड़ा सोर्स को पकड़ा क्योंकि इसमें मेरे को जो वर्ड्स चाहिए थे वो थ्री वर्ड्स चाहिए थे इसके बाद आगे कंटेंट आ गया तो कंप्लीशन हो गया मेरा कंटेंट मैंने कैच करके फिफ्टी अपना आंसर दे मैं इस सेक्शन से भी आउट हो गया मेरा सेक्शन फोर रह गया राइट सेक्शन फोर पहले एम आए जैसे आप लोगों ने देखा ही होगा एंड तो एम जब आए तो 31 से 33 अब इसमें आपको पता है ब्रेक तो होती नहीं है फटाफट चलते हैं और लोग भागते हैं तो उसने कहा स्टीम इन्वायरमेंट में तो एक कंडीशन और इन्वायरमेंट को मैच कर लिया कई बार मैंने रीडिंग में भी आंसर सर्च किए हैं तो मेरा आंसर ये आ गया तो उसने कहा सब ऑफ द फाउंड अंटार्टिका में तो उसने कहा कई सेंचुरी से कई हज़ारों सालों से हैं कई लास्ट आई से हैं तो मैंने एंशियंट कॉलोनीज बता दिया इसके बाद उसने कहा फर्स्ट पीपल हाँ इसके बारे में बोलना जरूर है बट मेरा आंसर क्यों क्रॉस हो गया क्योंकि मुझे फर्स्ट टाइम सुना फर्स्ट टाइम सुनने के बाद लिविंग की बात मैंने सीधा सॉइल पे चला गया अब इन इतना वर्क करने के बाद मैं आ गया 34 फोर सौ फोर्टी में उसने कहा कि अपना क्लाइमेट